This is a tutorial video for George on how to edit a podcast from a video file. So this is a podcast that I recorded Devin through Zoom, which created a MP4 file. Drag it into Camtasia. This is how I do it. Drop it into the media bin. Or you can just click on that button and then find the file and add it into here. Once it's added into the media bin, I can drag it into this track one section, which will allow me to start editing it with Camtasia Studio, which is the software I'm using here. What I'll do is I'll just press play here. I want to remove the, the video, so it doesn't really matter what this looks like here. Um, I'm just look, uh, listening into the audio and when I produce it, I'll be producing it in a audio format rather than video. Well, if the first thing I need to do with a podcast is I usually pull this along, give enough space to add the intro. So I'll record that just now. Test, test. Checking over my script. Hi, this is Ben Lane. Thanks for joining us on Cancel. <laughs> Delete. Hi, this is Ben Lane. Thanks for joining us for episode 8 of Ben's Business Podcast. Every Wednesday at 2pm GMT UK time, I will be jumping on Facebook Live with a guest or on my own to answer your questions about growing your business, digital marketing, social media and search engine optimization. Just save that to this file here under Camtasia Studio Voice Narrations. And that drops in a new audio file into here. The next step is to add some audio to sync it, it, add it in for the transition from the introduction into the interview audio. You can find that under media. I click here, to the library, and then I go down to music tracks, and it is video games music. Just drag that end to here. It's quite a long file and I only need uh, one part of it. This is probably not the the right way to do it but I drag it right to the end so that when I'm editing I don't cut out any of the audio on track one. This is on track two as you can see over here. 
but I have to take it right away so it's not in line with track one. I'm going to click here and just zoom in to the audio. I want to listen to this music. Actually, cut out all of that part at the start. You can either drag it like that, or there's actually a way to just cut out the, or trim the start by doing it that way. I think my music starts about here. I only need about 10 seconds for the audio. Again, you can just drag that back the way, or cut it like this. So, what was that, 13 seconds? drag this down to here. Again, all this is just that my random process put together is probably again not the the right way. <laughs> it's just how I've managed to put it all together. of a gap there so I usually close in the gap and keep the podcast short and snappy. That's when the music should kick in. So what I'll need to do is reduce the, the volume of the music and add some fade into it as well. So I'll click on that and add some effects, audio effects, fade in, <coughs> and then fade out. still a bit loud, it's slightly louder than all the rest of the speaking, so I also click on this wee green bar and drag it down. So I really don't want it to be any louder than the voice. I want the music to just come in just as I'm finishing that sentence of the introduction. So maybe drag that along so you, hear it, you start to hear it in the background. Out there, that sounds fine. And then I probably want the first high to come in there. Let's try that. I 
again, bit of a gap after all that big build up of the music and everything, it just kind of goes dead after I say welcome, so I want to keep that all tight as well. So you see these wee gaps here, that's just why I close that, so it's a bit of an awkward start to that conversation just because probably technology can hear me or something. Something like that is a wee bit better. Because this first part here, right after that music, and even the first minute of any video podcast or anything, is like probably going to be the most important part because in marketing we talk about A I D A A for attention, I for interest, D for desire, and A for action. The first part of marketing is to get their attention like any type of ad or it's a headline that we look at. If that headline doesn't get do the job, you're not going to read on. You're not going to look at the image. Or if that image doesn't do the job, then you're not going to read the rest of it. Okay, pause this. To add some fade in to my voice here. Let's see how that sounds. I'll just take this fade down after some advice from an audio expert. That seems fine. So that's really the introduction I need. Uh, these are the reasons. This is the main reason. Simple things like that, the audio is actually done. Simple uh, introductions is the reason why I've not done the last 20 podcasts and got them out there. So it's really important that this audio gets out there and simply understanding that part uh, for, for you is, is going to be valuable for everyone. So we've got all this audio here to listen to and edit M's, ums, ands, double words, so's, and any other crutch words like that to be edited out of here from me and my guest because from all my lessons at Toastmasters, crutch words are useless words that we fill in to fill gaps like space. The space between me saying hi and Devin saying hi back. We end up filling that in with a eh, um just to fill the gap to save us from awkwardness. But really the gaps are quite important in some sentences because it gives a listener, the student, time to think about what you just said. So taking all these words out of here will help the educational process and just make it more fun for the listener rather than listen to 30% of the audio with the is, ums and ams. And I really can't control what the guest is going to, how much of a M machine they are. What I also do when I'm editing is if I hear myself, again, repeating something or I say something that really doesn't make sense, and if you pick up on that, you can edit it out as well. That's another reason I use this editor to basically, uh, I might even remove chunks like that, just completely remove it if it's really useless. And you just have to use your intuition on that. On top of that, be creative. Do what you want with it. Add 
and make it better, improve the audio and take take notes as well because there's a lot of wisdom in all of these uh, bits of podcasts um, from the guests that I'm interviewing and even some of the things I'm sharing when I'm on my own from my own experience. Then once that's all edited out, you just want to add the audio again and I usually just go back to here. And I copy, control C or right click, copy or click on that icon, zoom out. And I'm just pressing Control and V, or again, you could click on this one here. The short key is Control and V, or right click and paste. So that pasted that audio clip of the music in there to the end. I'm just going to take that in slightly here, and I will add a fade out here for the voice. Maybe not such a sudden one. Well, see who that looks 